Body Speak presents seven amazing free fall survivors. James Bull, a skydiver from Staffordshire, plunged 6,000 feet without a parachute in Russia and survived to tell the tale. Hitting rocks at an estimated 100 kilometers per hour, Miracle Man 31 year old James Bull from Tamworth was filming a TV documentary in Russia when his parachute launched only seconds to the ground. James Bull failed to open his chute until it was too late after a communications error with a fellow extreme sport lover. Mr. Bull landed on snow covered rocks and suffered a broken back and rib. Joe Herman. Joe Herman of the Royal Australian Air Force was blown out of his bomber in 1944 without a parachute. He found himself falling through the night sky amid airplane debris and wildly grabbed a piece of it. It turned out to be not debris at all, but rather a fellow flyer, John Vivash, in the process of pulling his ripcord. The parachute inflated slowly, which helped Herman maintain his grasp on Vivash. Joe hung on and as courtesy hit the ground first, breaking the fall of his savior and a mere two ribs of his own. Nicholas Alchemade. On March 24, 1944, 21-year-old flight sergeant Nicholas Stephen Alchemade was a member of No. 115 Squadron RAF and was flying to the east of Schmallenberg, Germany, when his plane was attacked by enemies, caught fire, and began to spiral out of control. Because his parachute was destroyed by the fire, Alchemade opted to jump from the aircraft without one, preferring his death to be quick rather than being burnt to death. He fell 18,000 feet, that's 5,500 meters, to the ground below. His fall was broken by pine trees and a soft snow cover on the ground. He was able to move his arms and legs and suffered only a sprained leg. When he came to his senses and saw stars overhead, he lit a cigarette. He was subsequently captured and interviewed by the Gestapo. The orderly Germans were so impressed that Alchemade had bailed out without a parachute and lived that they gave him a certificate testifying to the fact. Bahia Bakari Bahia Bakari is a French schoolgirl who became world famous as the sole survivor of Yemeniya Flight 626, an Airbus A310, which crashed into the Indian Ocean near the north coast of Grande Comore, Comoros, on June 30th, 2009 killing all other 152 people on board. Bakari, who could barely swim and had no life vest, clung to aircraft wreckage, floating in heavy seas for more than 13 hours, much of it in pitch darkness, before being rescued by the Cymacom 2, a privately owned ship. As soon as Bakari was sighted, a member of the rescue team threw her a life preserver, but the waters were too rough and she was too exhausted to grab it. One of the sailors, Matarafi Salamane Labuna, jumped into the water and handed her a flotation device, after which they were both pulled to safety aboard the Cymacom 2, where she was given dry blankets and a hot drink. Her mother, who had been traveling with her from Paris, France for a summer vacation in Comoros, died in the crash. Mohamed El Fateh Osman this is the two-year-old who survived a plane crash in Sudan in 2003. The crash happened shortly after leaving Port Sudan Airport, killing 116 people. The only survivor was found lying on a fallen tree with multiple injuries. About 10 minutes after takeoff, heading from Port Sudan on the northeastern coast to the capital, the pilot of a Boeing 737 radioed the control tower about a problem in one engine. The pilot killed that engine and told the tower he was returning to the airport. Ten minutes later, the Sudanese airliner plunged into a hillside while attempting an emergency landing, killing 116 people and leaving only two-year-old Sudanese boy Mohamed El Fateh Osman as the sole survivor. The boy was found injured and lying on a fallen tree by a nomad. The boy's mother was among the victims. Mohammed lost part of a lower leg and was treated for severe burning. Vesna Vulovic 22-year-old Vesna Vulovic 
was a flight attendant on Yugoslav Airlines DC-9 en route from Stockholm to Belgrade. A bomb, which may have been planted in the front baggage compartment of the plane, exploded on board when the aircraft was at 33,330 feet. Vulovich was in the tail section that fell to earth. It landed at just the right angle on a slope of snow-covered mountains. She was the only survivor among the 28 passengers and crew. She broke both her legs and was paralyzed from the waist down. She was in a coma for 27 days, and her recovery took 17 months. She continued to fly with Yugoslav Airlines for 20 more years. She holds the world record, according to the Guinness Book of Records, for surviving the highest fall without a parachute. 10,160 meters, or 33,333 feet. Julianne Kopke On Christmas Eve 1971, Lanza Flight 508 from Lima, Peru to Pucallpa, Peru crashed during a thunderstorm, killing 91 people, all of its six crew and 85 of its 86 passengers. The sole survivor was a 17-year-old girl called Julianne Kupke, who fell two miles or three kilometers down into the Amazon rainforest, strapped to her seat, and remarkably survived the fall. The next morning, the high school student awoke in the jungle floor, surrounded by fallen holiday gifts. Injured and alone, she pushed her mother's death, who'd been seated next to her on the plane, out of her mind. Instead, she remembered some of her father's advice, a biologist, to find civilization when lost in the jungle, follow water. Kupke waded from tiny streams to larger ones, she passed crocodiles and poked the mud in front of her with a stick to scare away stingrays. She had lost one shoe in the fall and was wearing a ripped miniskirt. Her only food was a bag of candy, and she had nothing but dark, dirty water to drink. She ignored her broken collarbone and her wounds, infested with maggots. On the tenth day, she rested on the bank of the Shibonya River. When she stood up again, she saw a canoe tethered to the shoreline. It took her hours to climb the embankment to a hut, where the next day, a group of lumberjacks found her. The incident was seen as a miracle in Peru, and freefall statistics seem to support those arguing for divine intervention. If you liked the video, please press the like button below and subscribe to our channel to watch future videos of the most amazing, bizarre, and weird stuff from around the world.